Hi, and welcome to the demo where I show you how to download your original high-resolution pictures and video from the ImageStation website to your Mac using the automatic ImageStation download application. Now, the first step to using the application is installing the application. And in order to do that, you need to download the ImageStation software from the ImageStation website. Now, I've already done that, and my browser has saved a file to my desktop called ImageStation Software 1.6.4.dmg. Now, if your download happens to be named slightly different or have a slightly newer version number, don't sweat it. Just go ahead and, and double click on whatever was downloaded to your desktop from the ImageStation website. But it should be named something.dmg. Clicking on the file will mount the installer disk image and you'll see it pops open this window here. And inside of there I've got two files. One's called ImageStation installer and the other is a PDF readme file that has uh, full documentation on how to operate the software. So to start the installation routine, just double click on ImageStation installer and follow the on-screen prompts. Now I'm not going to actually install this software because this software is already installed on my Mac. But uh, just follow the on-screen prompts and you won't have any problems. It's a very quick and easy software install. So once the software is installed, it's going to be placed in your applications folder. So I'm going to double click on my hard drive. I'm going to double click on my applications folder and then locate the application called Image Station Downloader. Once you've located it, just double click. Once you do, you'll see what looks like a small preferences pane. Now that uh, small preferences pane looking window is actually the image station download utility. And uh, as you'll see, it's very simple. There are only two tabs at the top, a general tab and an advanced tab. And if you choose to completely ignore the advanced tab, that's not a problem. We've just included a few preferences under the advanced tab uh, that may be helpful in personalizing your download experience. But uh, in order to keep things simple, we've um, provided minimal functions uh, in this application. And let me take you through those now. So the first option um, is labeled Sign In As, and you'll see that there's a button called Change. Now you'll want to click on that Change button and then enter your ImageStation member name and password. Now this is the same ImageStation member name and password you use to log into the ImageStation website. Once you've done that, click OK. The second option is a preference on where to download your pictures and videos to on your Mac's hard drive. So the default location is the Documents folder. But in this example, I don't want to download to the Documents folder. I want to actually create a new folder on my desktop and I want to download my pictures and videos to that folder. So I'll take you through the process of changing that. Simply click on the pull down and select Other and then click on desktop and click on new folder. Now um, put in a name for your new folder. I'm going to name mine is-photos and then click create. You'll see that uh, the application has created a new folder on my desktop called is-photos and then simply make sure that that new folder is selected and click choose. And you'll see that the new download destination folder is reflected in the pull down menu here and it's called is-photos. So that's really it. And if you want to start downloading now, you're ready to by just clicking the download button. But uh, let's go through and, and talk about the advanced options just in case you want to personalize your download experience. To get to the advanced options, click on the little gear at the top of the ImageStation downloader window and you'll see there are two more advanced options in this tab. The first one is called subfolders and it's pre-checked by default and the pre-checked command says organize my images in subfolders. Now what does that mean? Well what that means is that the ImageStation download application is going to look at your online account and then it's going to look at all of your album names and it's going to create subfolders in your download folder that match your album names. So let me give you an example of what that might look like. Let's say you have three albums um, from the last three years, 2005, 2006, and 2007. And then within each of those, you've got pictures from 2005, 2006, and 2007. 
what the downloader will do is it's going to create subfolders in my IS photos folder called 2005, 2006, 2007, and then download my pictures so they're organized on my hard drive in the same way that my albums were organized in my online account. Now, if I were to uncheck this option, what the action would be is that the downloader would simply look at all the pictures across all the albums in my online account and then it would just basically put them all in this one IS photos folder with no subfolder organization. So leaving this checked is actually very helpful if you want to remember how you had your albums organized in your online account and if you want to apply an extra level of um, organization and, and I think it makes the uh, pictures easier to find if you, if you leave this checked. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that checked. The second option is called New File Names. And when we saved your uploaded images at ImageStation, we renamed them so our servers would be able to find them more easily. So unfortunately, those new names aren't very human friendly. And so um, when we download your pictures back to your Mac, we want to we want to go ahead and give them a new file name. And so um, we're allowing you to create a customized prefix here for what that new file name might be. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just um, type in DL for download hyphen. So if you see the file name preview down here, what it gives me an idea of what my pictures are going to be named. So with this DL hyphen prefix, my new file names are going to be DL hyphen 0001, 0002, and so on. So the application will automatically increment the sequence number, but it allows me to choose a custom prefix. Um, so uh, if I have a particular organization scheme or a way that I like to name my files on my hard drive, this just makes it a little easier to set those preferences. So going back to the general tab, I've set my advanced preferences, I've set my general preferences, and I'm ready to start downloading. All I need to do is click on the download button here. And the first thing that the downloader will do is it will log into my ImageStation online account. It'll look at the, the albums and pictures in my account and start downloading them. It's going very quickly, as you can see here. I only have a few pictures in this account, so I expected it to go quickly. And it's done. Um, the download is complete. And if we were to go and open up the IS Photos folder now, you'll see that I have a new subfolder. This was automatically created called Amsterdam and that's the same as my online album. And then inside I've got two, three pictures and these are named DL-00001, 02 and 03 and that matches the instruction that I gave the download application in the advanced preferences panel. If I were to open up one of these pictures you'll see that I now have my full original high resolution pictures from Amsterdam saved back to my computer. So that's really about it. It's pretty simple. Um, the only other thing that uh, I want to mention is that uh, actually two things. The download application is smart enough to know that should an interruption happen, let's say that you have to close the application for some reason during the download process or let's say you drop your internet connection or something happens that interrupts the download process. Uh, the next time you log in and start downloading, it's going to pick up where it left off. So um, you're not going to have to download the same images over and over again. So that's kind of nice. The other thing is once the download is complete, you are welcome to take advantage of the option to transfer your pictures to Shutterfly. Uh, and to begin that, just uh, click Get Started. Get Started is going to launch your browser and uh, open it up to the ImageStation website. And from there, you just want to go ahead and log in. Oops. Using your member name and password. And then follow the on-screen instructions to transfer your pictures from ImageStation to Shutterfly. And so that's about it. Uh, we hope that you find the ImageStation Downloader uh, a useful utility and um, are able to download all of your original high-resolution pictures and videos from the ImageStation website to your Mac. Thank you.